Action 7 News was the first to tell you of Two Eagles' safe landing and bring you live coverage from Mission Control in Albuquerque. KOAT Action 7 News reporter Mike Springer begins our team coverage with the final moments of the historic flight. Champagne and cheers are flowing out of Mission Control headquarters here at the International Balloon Museum in Northwest Albuquerque. The pilots have been rescued. The pilots are okay. The pilots are on a fishing boat. They're being taken to shore. The nearly week long gas air balloon flight across Pacific Ocean is over. The historic journey set unofficial records for both duration and distance. Albuquerque native Troy Bradley and his Russian co pilot manned the Two Eagles balloon, which made the journey. It ended just before 7 a.m. with a successful water landing about four miles off the Baja coast. And to give you an idea of how far those men traveled, take a look at this map over here. So you can see they started in Saga, Japan, traveled across the North Pacific, and then at the end of this six day journey, they landed just there off the coast of Mexico. I'm feeling relieved, actually. Um, I was never scared, uh, but it's definitely been tense. Tammy Bradley is the wife of pilot Troy Bradley. She's been watching everything unfold from here in Mission Control. I didn't realize how tense I was getting, just wanting him to get down to ground. Um, but uh, so now I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm finally feeling the full weight of it, and, and I'm pretty tired, but uh, very relieved that he's he's down and safe. The men are expected to return home to the United States Sunday. Reporting in Northwest Albuquerque, Mike Springer, KOT Action 7 News.